Hi, my name's Jim. I am the Solar Boondocker. Stick around here long enough, I'll teach you to be one too. Remember, you can find me at jimindenver.com where I do solar consultation and design. And pretty soon I'll reawaken my Solar Boondocker blog, which will have more of the everyday life things in it than I do here on YouTube. Today we're going to talk about the last of the three-part series of aiming the directional antenna. This bad boy up here, I, I got to tell you, it, it makes it so I can have internet in places other people just think the, there's no signal at all. Um, so today, we're going to walk through that. You remember seeing the cellreception.com video, the network cell info light video? Those gave me an idea of which direction to point the big antenna. Now, we're going to start pointing it. So out here, what I have set up next to the directional antenna is my laptop, or one of them. Through it, I'm going to connect to each hotspot's manager. Inside the manager is an about or a setting page, status page, however it's called, that will show me the antenna strength. What I also have with me is the card that I created from cellreception.com and network cell info light. Those gave me an ideal of which direction to point the antenna. So let's look at what we're doing here. Two, one. So what we're going to do here is aim the directional antenna for the Jetpack MiFi 7730L. The first thing we have to do, since it's a hot spot, is make sure it's connected to a computer. Second thing is sign in to the manager. The manager for this hotspot can be found at the address 192.168.1.1. Most hotspots, that's the manager. Some of them have words for the names. Some of them use 0 0.1. Now that I'm here, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click About. I'm going to click Diagnostics. And there we go. Right here you see it says Signal Strength minus 96 dBm. Right now the 7730 is sitting on the counter in the trailer. It's not hooked up to the booster at all. This is a control. Now that we're done with that control, I'm going to switch it over to the omnidirectional antenna and show you what the numbers are for it real quick. Now that I've switched over to the omnidirectional antenna, by the way, you'll notice I expanded the page so you can actually see the numbers easier. But on the omnidirectional antenna, we drop. So the hotspot's in the cradle. The cradle is connected to the directional antenna. You guys will remember this little chart that I made up of where all of the antennas are. Right now I'm pointed off to the southwest. That's where one of the closest towers are. My D minus DBM is 76. That's not really better than the omnidirectional gave us. So what I'm going to do is adjust it back and forth a little bit. I'm going to give the hotspot a chance to catch up and I'm going to refresh the diagnostic page. No difference. I'm pointed straight west now. No difference. coming up on the northwest. I'm not making any difference. I don't think there's a tower out here. I'm going to switch over to the tower to the northeast. 
And that's the advantage of having an idea of where the towers are in the first place. Give the hot spot a chance to recover. Ah, there we go. 72. Minus 72 dBm. Now that's much better. Let's see if we can't improve it. I'm going to move just a smidgen to the... and reset the page. No difference. A little bit more. Spot a chance. Reset the page. Ah, nope, we're climbing. Let's go back the opposite direction. Nope, the opposite direction doesn't do me any good either. I'm going to split the difference between the 70, the minus 74 and the minus 73 mark. And we're back down to 72. So there you have it. Having an idea of which direction to point your antenna is a wonderful thing. That's why CellReception.com and Network Cell Info Lite are so important to me. Minute adjustments and allowing the hotspot to recover, the diagnostic page on the manager, they're all part of the tools that I use to do this. You can swing it around in a 360 degree arc, making tiny little movements and reloading the page over and over and over. But honestly, having an idea of which direction to point it in the first place is the best way you can go. I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe to the channel. I hope you come back and see me again because I sure enjoy talking to you all. Please remember that you can see me at JimInDenver.com for solar consultation and design. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks.